A lot of people are surprised with JoJo's rebrand of a poppy sensation, happy-go-lucky kind of girl into a monstrous villain who is mean and a bully. My question is why this has happened time and time again. It's like, I want to do what she did with bangers. I want to have that moment. In today's video, we'll talk about the endless cycle of pop star to villain, why it happens, why these rebrands fail, and make some jokes along the way. I hope you enjoy the video. We gotta find it. I should call my mom. I don't want her to see me cry. I think before we talk about the cycle, I think it's important to emphasize that a lot of people didn't see this coming, that it was a total shock, the rebrand that she was going to have, even though it was planned from the start, and we'll get to that later. The reason I think people were surprised because they don't they don't understand how the industry works and how it warps young people's brains into thinking you have to be toxic to be successful, ultimately forcing a rebrand if you want to be successful long term. But to understand this, we have to first go over how the industry turns you into a toxic toxic person. You need to understand as a child, you're always soaking up information from your environment, your parents, the media that's around us. So imagine in a hypothetical situation that never happened, allegedly, allegedly, you enroll your daughter into a dancing TV show and one of the dancing teachers is toxic, yells and screams and makes people feel uncomfortable. You gain a lot of success and a lot of fame from it. You can imagine that a kid would then associate being toxic, yelling loud and miserable to success. And that's what it takes to be be successful. She deserves nothing. Keeping that in mind, that's why it's not shocking to me when I hear stories of JoJo and her mother running a dance team and they're forcing girls to dance while they're bleeding out of their stomach or allegedly being mean to a girl who had chronic pain. This is pretty in line with what I would expect from a person who grew up in industry. You have to keep in mind, unlike us who had our whole childhoods to run around and to be socialized in a normal setting, JoJo was homeschooled. She didn't have time to learn what normal interactions with humans was like, how to behave around other people and her only role models for what success is was a toxic dancing coach it's not surprising that she turned out this way abby listen i will always remember where i came from i really respect the show and i respect what the show did for me for maddie for kalani for kendall for nia they all act as if i had nothing to do with the show and oh it was toxic they were stars they were making money they were on top of the world you're just gonna dump me abby actually taught me a lot i carry a lot of what she taught me with me and alleged that jesselyn jojo's mother was overtly cruel, calling the girls names, and in one instance, shaming them for having a disability. They also allege that JoJo, quote, could be nasty and domineering. They say during performances, she would scream insults at the girls and, quote, played a role in helping to build a cutthroat environment long after the cameras were gone playing favorites and pitting members against each other. It alleges that even after the show was over, Jojo would often encourage the girls to compare themselves to each other, quote, breeding an atmosphere of constant contention and presenting a stark contrast to her sunny public persona. And this is why we get to why it keeps happening is because these kids are not socialized to be normal people. Like me and you, it, when we went to work, like I went to work at 16 and when my boss was being mean or horrible or whatever, I didn't think like, oh, they're doing this because they care about me. I did. I was like, oh, you are a terrible person. Like I'm quitting this job. Like I'm not flipping burgers while you're yelling in my ear. Please. You are 35 yelling at a teenager. <laughs> get it together. <laughs> You 36! But if you're a kid, you don't understand that that's not a good thing. And then you become successful, rich, and famous while somebody is yelling at you, telling you, hey, do this, do this, do this. You feel entitled, you, you feel grateful for it, and that shapes your understanding of how interactions are supposed to go in the real world. It warps your reality of the situation. It's almost like we you didn't just, just fall out of a, of a coconut, coconut tree. tree. <laughs> <laughs> you exist in the context of all in which you live and what came before you. And that's why it's so funny to me. People were like, oh, this rebrand. I miss the old JoJo where she was popped. And like, she was such nice. She was never nice. She was never this person that you assumed of in your head. And I think this happens because a lot of people don't think of celebrities as celebrities. They think of them as like real people that they genuinely know and understand and not as brands like Walmart or Target. Um, JoJo is a brilliant businesswoman. She's probably been so for the last six years of her life. And if she's not, her mom definitely is. I think people would probably think you're like stunted in your growth because yep. you're a child actor. Yep. You act like a kid. Yep. 
they don't see you behind the scenes like you're right of you being exactly. like and then I wrote an entire show and then I would edit it and then I would upload and then I would do it again and I was a business person and I'm yep. sitting in meetings and I'm meeting with yep. adults so it's like we're seeing the fun outgoing Jojo of uh-huh. like click on my video and welcome to my YouTube channel right it's not that it's fake it's just it's not natural to have a camera in front of your face so naturally of I'm course, playing a character of myself a bit. Yeah. right this is helpful to- for example and we'll get to this later she sat on the karma song for four years because she didn't feel like it fit her brand yet and then she made the song because she was finally able to be labeled the bad guy um and then I got pitched this song karma and it's the first word is I was a bad girl and I was like Oh, fuck, it's a good song. I was like, but I can't say that. I can't say I'm a bad girl. I'm not. I'm not. I was 18, fresh off of my dream, the tour. And I was like, I can't say I, I, I sang every girl's a super girl last week. Like, I can't <laughs> sing I was a bad girl this week. It doesn't work. So I was like, okay, we'll leave it at that. We'll find it. We'll find it in a few years from now. And so... JoJo is getting a lot of backlash for releasing this song because people are saying that she stole it from the original song creator. I promise this goes back into my narrative about why you have to rebrand, but a quick side tangent because I've been in the music industry. This is a really common thing. JoJo is not the only person who does this. Miley Cyrus does this all the time. Uh, You might know this person, Emma Blackery. She was a famous YouTube musician. Played. That's not Miley singing. It does sound a bit like Miley, but it's not Miley. It's another um, singer. This is not unheard of in the music industry in fact it's way more common than you think and you know what coming full circle i'm now uh, beginning to write music for other artists as well so you know it's it's, <laughs> it's it's just how the industry works if you sound like miley cyrus if you sound like rihanna they'll have you sing the song and then they'll ship that song to rihanna so she can perform it and then probably add a little bit of her stuff onto it again this is very common in the music industry and it's very telling that only jojo is getting called out about this not anybody else and this goes back into why you have to rebrand we'll talk about that in a second there's so many more things to criticize jojo for like cheating on her girlfriend allegedly or you know being mean to her employees allegedly like I feel like we should be focusing on that, not a common practice in the music industry. But allegedly, JoJo was always toxic behind the scenes, always yelling, always having a bad working environment. You just never saw it because it was carefully curated. This leads into her rebrand era because as you grow up, people stop finding you like cute, stop finding stuff that you do as funny, and you're bound to mess up, you're bound to make mistakes, so you cannot keep the same persona of happy-go-lucky pop star it's bound to fragment and to shatter. If you look at the things that JoJo has done, they're not even that bad in context. I, I think I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that in the con- in the comments. But a lot of male stars do this and they don't get as much flack for it and nobody really cares. Timothy, Sh- t- t- how do you say his name? Timothy Shamal. Sh- Sh- Paul Mwadib Atreides, Duke of Arrakis. The guy from Dune had like a whole thing at college, a whole college scandal, and like nobody even cares. Like it's not even a big deal. Like it's never brought up, and people still glamorize him and love him. Um, maybe because he's not a child star. But I'm saying actors, a lot of male actors have like they cheat on their girlfriends, they do all these other things, and they aren't villainized to the same extent. It is villainized to the extreme where like if a man did the same thing, people wouldn't have cared. I'm I'm not familiar enough with Justin Bieber to say this, but I feel like Justin Bieber is like actually the perfect example. He did a no, actually you can because Justin Bieber literally literally said slurs and he still has a fandom and he wasn't like villainized this way. This goes into why as a woman creator, you have to rebrand because you are held to a standard that is impossible to maintain with a clean, bubbly persona. The perfect example of this is Miley Cyrus. Before the bangers era, she was being criticized left and right for really simple things just because it didn't fit the image of when she was 13. It feels like with women or girl pop stars, at least America wants to maintain their perfect angel persona if that makes sense like their sweet little girl i think we can all agree as kids we're pretty innocent but as we grow up we make mistakes we change as people we get worse sometimes we get better you know all of it but it becomes almost impossible to maintain this persona this image of this clean poppy lovable girl that is a perfect angel nobody can ever do that especially when you're surrounded by a lot of toxic people like we mentioned earlier so therefore you have to change and have to lower the expectations of what people expect from you i would 
would also say that there's a personal element to it. Like I'm pretty sure Miley just wanted to grow up from the Hannah Montana era and wanted to differentiate herself and to be like her own person. That makes sense to me. If you listen to the Bangers era, it's not incredibly bad. It's pretty on brand for Miley's music career in general. And that leads into the second thing that no matter what you do, especially if you're a girl pop star, you will be judged. There will be backlash because society feels like you're taking away their perfect little angel and you're replacing them with somebody who's devious, somebody who's feeling this, even though what you're doing isn't really that bad. I feel like it's a woman only thing because if you compare it to Justin Bieber, when he had his rebrand into like a toxic bad boy kind of thing, in the swaggy boy era, it was never met with this much outrage, this much uh, harshness as compared to Miley, compared to JoJo. Miley literally had people calling for her to not be allowed on TV anymore after the VMA show. That didn't. That young lady who is 20 yeah. is obviously deeply troubled, so here's deeply problem. disturbed, clearly has confidence issues. That didn't happen to Justin, as long as I can remember. I'm not big on male pop history, so I asked my community about this, and people said that Michael Jackson was a good example. He had a really good transition from child uh, musician to bad boy with Thriller, and I kind of agree Thriller sold a lot, but I wasn't alive during that time period, so I can't comment on that. Somebody said that the Jonas Brothers had a similar problem, but it was the opposite, where they were being made fun of because they were seen as too boyish, even though they were teenagers. And that kind of adds on to it, like it's a gendered thing, that people want boys to be tough and masculine, and they want girls to say soft and feminine. In all these situations, I feel like there's going to be a backlash. There's nothing special about Jojo Siwawa. People just feel like you're taking away their childhood, something they grew up with, and they're mad about it. So you have to do it slowly and gradually over time, in my opinion, at least. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> I'm devastated. <laughs> Also, lastly, the the amount of hatred that JoJo's getting, people like making it out like she's a villain. She's like, she has not been accused of like any crimes or anything like that. She's just a bully. It's so extreme and it adds on to my point. Like this is like a gendered thing. I just, I never remember Justin Bieber getting this much hate for when he, he literally did worse things. You can't go from pop star to bad girl icon to punk icon. You're always going to get backlash from it because people perceive you as that like innocent girl who was like, oh my God, like an angel and then they get really mad about it but they don't do the same thing for men in pop a lot of people bring up jenna ortega but i don't think that's similar because i didn't know who jenna ortega was before the adams family thing on netflix but i knew who jojo was and i didn't watch disney and i was like i think 20 at the time or 18 or 19 so even me as a 19 year old her pop influence was so heavy that i knew her by a passing that she was like this child star i didn't even know who jenna ortega was and that goes to show it's way easier for Jenna to rebrand herself because she wasn't as big as a pop star before. We've seen it with every massive child girl pop star tried to do these rebrands that they normally fail. Like the Miley one failed, the Amanda Bynes one failed. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Peace.